welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. Today I'm going to be working on a uh, folded paper. Um, I believe they call them uh, a zine. Um, I have cut this one already. It was a it is a 12 by 12 paper, and basically um, I cut it so that I can uh, decorate each of these panels here. Decorate, decorate, and decorate and decorate. So it keeps going. So. Um, I'm going to be using with this one um, some of my uh, Tim Holtz people. I'm going to put them on there, um, decorate them, add some, uh, I got some clocks, some tags, um, some book pages. Um, yeah, so I think it's going to, uh, I think it's going to be fun. So I'm going to um, show you how I cut this real quick and then we'll come back and decorate, uh, decorate this one. All right, so this one I'm going to use a uh, eight and a half by eleven, so it's a little smaller. This one was, like I said, twelve by twelve. So I'm going to do this one a little smaller. I think when I go to decorate this one, this one's going to be more of a um, uh, nature one. I'm going to put flowers on there, or mushrooms, maybe butterflies, um, that kind of stuff. So, all right, so the folding is really easy. Um, uh, the only thing I have to say is when you use the paper. You want to um, make sure it's not directional with lots of words. Now, now this did have some words, but they were kind of facing all different directions, so I was fine because when you go to decorate them, um, this is gonna be facing this way, but these are gonna be facing this way because when it gets folded up, it needs to go um, like that. So if you have something that's truly one directional, um, it's not gonna work very well um, for that. Because like you see, it says Paris upside of that. So it didn't really matter on this that there were words that could get flipped around. Uh, so this one is truly not a problem because it's just uh, pretty much water spots. So, all right, so the first fold we're going to do um, on any sheet is you're just going to fold um, end to end. i find my bone folder. And then we're going to fold it. Um, and then we're going to go the opposite way and fold end to end and fold it okay so the last and final step then is you're going to take the um, side that you just did and you're going to fold the end into the center uh, where it is um, been originally creased and we're going to do the same <clears throat> for this side i'm just going to fold it up to that and crease it. Now, I'm gonna take it and just do a, an opposite fold for these because they are kind of gonna be folded in and out. And this was folded this way, so I'm gonna fold it this way. Okay, so now we are gonna cut um, the line that goes through the center here um, so that it gets split down the middle. And what I mean by that is right here, you can see it's going to get cut in the middle two panels down the center. Um, now, um, if you have, um, I'm going to use an X-Acto knife for that. Um, for this, um, if you want to try to use one of your slide cutters, you can. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I like the X-Acto knife better. Now, to see the line, it's kind of hard sometimes to, to see it. So what I did originally is, since this is the back and it's not really going to be seen, I just threw, I folded it one direction, threw a little ink on there, folded the other so I could see where it crosses. I'll do the whole thing. Not necessary to do the whole thing, but... Um, just so we can see it on camera. Uh, I'm going to do it that way, and then I'm going to fold it, I think, opposite direction. And kind of leaves a X marks the spot of where uh, we need to cut it. So, much easier to uh, look at that line versus um, trying to see a line that's there. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto, and I'm going to start it... Um, the first cross here, do a line and stop. Whoops, went a little too far. 
<laughs> got a little rambunctious at the second crosshair, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Okay. So now when you go to fold it, you got to make those go out the opposite and you're all set. Now, what I did notice when I was folding my first one is when you get to here, it gets a little off whack. Um, so I'm not sure. I might go ahead in, in the end, after it's all decorated, um, I might go ahead and glue those two ends together so they don't slide. Because um, they're always just going to keep doing this, kind of like an infinite, an infinite circle of um, working. But we'll see. All right, so like I said, this one I'm going to eventually um, decorate. Um, you can see the squares be like this. It'd be cute. It's a little flowers, um, um, butterflies, something like that. So I'm going to do that one um, second. Might have, depending on how long the first one takes me, I might just do it off screen and show you what it looks like in the end. So let's put that to the side for now, and let's see what we're working with on this. Okay. All right, so, like I said, I am just going to, now since this is gonna flip open like um, a book, I figured I should probably do these people. Maybe a little bit opposite like that. see what we got here. He looks kind of industrial. Tear this off though. A little too much sticking on there. Alright, so I hope your day is going well. Um, and before I forget, if you haven't seen, um, I do have um, my 500 subscriber giveaway um, that I just posted. Um, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out. I'm giving away some fun stuff. This one, this book was pretty, pretty brittle. get a little bit uh, some other tag to go down here maybe a Tim Holtz tag or a not a well, maybe a small Tim Holtz tag Looks like he's traveling, doesn't he? Like a conductor. <laughs> Price two fifty. Was that how much the ticket cost back then? Maybe. All right. What if we took and add that underneath it? Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's see. Let's get a glue in. Let's get one of these pages done, shall we? Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. <laughs> okay. It's like unearthing an ancient um, burial site or something here, trying to get to my, my book. Okay, there we go. All right. I went to a, a sat down at my craft table this morning and noticed that I never put the pin in my art glitter glue. That guy. 
Um, so it sat out all night, and let me tell you, it was solidly shut. Um, but luckily, with a little bit of hot water and coaxing, I was able to clear it. So that was a fun little twist this morning I wasn't expecting to do. So, All right, so this guy is... Um, I recently got these Tracy Fox labels, and I actually printed them on um, sticker paper so that I can... Just go ahead and lay it down, which is fun. I like that. Makes that a little easier. Okay. Okay, and we're going to get you all glued in, Mr. Conductor. I tried, when I picked these people out, I looked, at, looked for ones that looked like they could have been traveling, um, been doing a little bit more, um, that kind of stuff. He's on his way, he's got his riding gloves. She's on her way to a dance recital. He definitely looked like he could be traveling. He's got his travel coat on. She's ready to go. He's got a suitcase. So, yeah. That is how I picked my peeps. They looked like they were going somewhere. And we're starting with the conductor because he is the first one to go. Yeah. Fun. Okay. All right. So... Her with that and he looks like it's kind of big. Might have to put this somewhere. Next to somebody. Boot buttons. Looks like she could have boot buttons. Kind of matches that nice. I like it. Okay. And, yeah, I like it. Okay, so let's take this, see if I can throw a little ink on there without totally destroying the page. this glue. Alright, I think I'll add a little tape to the bottom of this. up here. Make sure it says 12 o'clock near the top. Okay.
it and maybe put a little Tag on the bottom, I'll stamp something on here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, so let's glue this down and then we'll figure out what I want to. Stamp onto that label. Okay, so would fit. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, now what color shall I stamp this? ground espresso. Nice. A little crooked, but I like it. He's going to go there, and we'll need some sort of cloth back there. I like this one. It's got the red, red and brown beige. kind of goes with that well. All right, it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll have them hang out right there. I need something right there, though. Use the ground espresso again. Up here. 
And just get this row. Okay, let's get these stamps back out here. Okay, so I just need to get him attached and his little dog too. Little doggy legs. <laughs> She deserves more of a mat behind her. I like that. And probably too close in color. Ooh, I like that one. There, that brings out that color. I like it. Okay. Now. I think that's going to go. Men and boys clothing is going to go over there. And. on something. Perfection. I think that's just too short. Alphabets. Okay, let's try the little bit of an alphabet. Kind of has that same color as the clock and the map. Similar. Whoops. Okay, let's glue that down. Cool. Traveling. That's that whole kind of theme. Alright, and the clock. I really do really love these circles I found. I have been using them a lot. Okay, 12 o'clock. Should have put a little bit of a book page behind her. Yeah, 
yeah, just peeking through. And I think a little round stamp behind her. That'd be cute. I was contemplating putting perfection there. And it will still fit, so I'm going to put her down first, and then I'm going to see if perfection will still work after she is down. I think perfection is going to work. Okay. Uh, just ever so slightly nip the corners off, and then I'm going to ink it. Not that this brown is not brown enough, but you can definitely see the white edge of the cardboard. I want to get rid of that. And throw a little glue on there. Perfection. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right, so let's gently try to Turn this around. So I can work on these. Okay, so uh, this is men's and boys' clothing, so I really think he should he should be under him. Um, he looks like he could be an antiquities dealer from Brussels, so we'll put that with him. Pack bay line. He could be going for a steamer ride. With this. Or is she going? I think she's going. Yeah, she's gonna go on a steamer ride. Railway to London Bridge? Why not? That'll fit there. Okay. That looks like a London Bridge kind of clock. Yeah, I add a few more things as I go. Lay this one down. Uh, I think this school will work.
this up a little bit. After all, it is antiquities, right? That's a little too new. Okay. Some other little tag on top of this, though. I think I need something a little brighter than that. Thousand dollars in cash. That makes sense, right? You've got to go antiquity shopping. Thousand dollars in cash. That works for me. around there and a little glue okay yeah I like that much better kind of breaks it up okay let's get him in place see if I need to stamp something too big. Okay, put that down there. <coughs> making progress. Okay, so John Mothner, men's and boys clothing. Okay, where's the top up here? That goes right there. And then, well, oops, is he stuck? He's not stuck. Okay, we'll get this little guy glued in. Some sort 
put a stamp up there and that'll work. That could be fun. But it doesn't totally make sense with that date, now does it? No, it doesn't. with care. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And do it on a label. Well, I can stamp it if I don't like it. I could just use this label for something else. and see what it looks like. Yeah, that'll be cute. All right. And I put a little stamp here. So on to my lady. Okay. So go back to maybe a little book page in here. Let's do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little bit allergy ridden today. A little bit congested. Okay. And we'll put her here. Put the clock. Put the clock a little lower. I think that'll be okay. A little different. All right. Let's ink this up. A little tape on this. We'll put her right there. And we're going to get this. Right down there. And we're going to need to put something up there. a little bit much.
that I stamp across there. What? Do another perfection? No. Reserved. She looks a little reserved, right? <laughs> reserved 1913. Oh, let's give that a go. Okay, where's my block? All right, let's try that. Straighten that out a little bit better. Okay, let's give that a go. I mean, if nothing else. Else I can just not put the label on, right? Okay, let's put some of these stamps back. I am pretty sure after I've taken these out of the back that they are now on their wrong collection at some point, but nothing I could do about it at this point. I guess I could go look at the picture of what they originally looked like and see what belonged to where, but uh, to me most of them are pretty interchangeable with each other, how they get used, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Okay, so I'll put the clock there. Get her to go right about there. Yeah, I think it worked out. Sorry, I keep leaning back. I have a bit of a sore back and trying to make myself sit up more it means I have to lean back. Whoops. back after all is said and done and do a little bit of those coffee stains. Kind of overlap the, I was thinking, kind of overlap the pages. And when they get closed, you'll see half a, half a coffee, half a knot. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. this way, weren't you? These really do stick fast, but Okay, just he was kind of floating there and I didn't want to stick it on top of that card, so beautiful. Okay, now 
I seem to have lost my clock for him. Oh, there it is. single. He's single, but he's going to travel to give flowers to his love. I love it. Okay. Let's do it. I like a little backstory. tape on there. Yeah, I think I'll round him around there. Tuck him in there. Yeah, okay. I'll put the clock where it needs to go. Okay. Whoops. No, 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 no. Check right there. Okay, let's see what we got here. Put the pin away. this bad boy. All right. Very cute. I like it. Look at that. Fun. And then back to them. Oh, I love it. I love it. I just gotta paint the edges and figure out if I want to glue those together, which I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, this was fun. I like this. I'm definitely looking forward to that uh, floral one to do too because that's going to be completely different. And this was with butterflies and flowers and mushrooms and happy things. <laughs> Not that these weren't happy things, but a little bit more grungy, right? I probably could have went through and did the inking when it wasn't made up.
It almost seems like it doesn't end. <laughs> I think I got everything now. So let's let's think about throwing a little bit of all right, let's put the round espresso away and do a little bit later. I'll do a coffee. Okay. Just trying to dab the ink off. <laughs> All right, looks like I got. I'll throw a little bit of glue through here. Gotta be careful I don't glue the wrong pages together. Are the two ends. That seemed to work. Doesn't come apart anywhere. Oops, I'm still drying. Yeah, I think gluing was the right answer. Because then, when I got to a weird spot, and fold it properly, it worked okay. Yeah, 
I love it. Okay. Let me get this back on before I have to <laughs> re-soak that. Okay, so cute little girl, the alphabet perfection. Got the gentleman going to the antiquities with the thousand in cash, the little boy with his men and boys clothing. Handle with care, very sweet. The reserved lady going on the steamboat liner. Very cool. The dapper gentleman who's single going to hand his flowers out. The lady by the London Bridge. The conductor with his, looks like a wire, one of those wireless telegram things. Costs two fifty to ride the train. The regal woman with her fancy boots. And the little dog and his little dog. Little boy and his dog. Special delivery. Got his little riding, riding gloves on. I love it. Okay, well that is gonna be that. Um, I will work on my uh, floral uh, bug one. And I will show you what, how that ends up turning out. Um, but I think if it does turn out um, half as good as this one, it'll be excellent. So, okay. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, and don't forget to leave a comment if we haven't hit the 500 subscribers yet. So you can be entered in a chance uh, to win the three giveaway prizes. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. You need to be a subscriber for that giveaway. And uh, give a thumbs up to the video if you like it. Want to see some more projects like this? Um, I will be happy to do them because these are fun to do. So, as usual, thanks so much and have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.